Hai man, stop lu pindah Bes makai, bes kaya lu Tak pindah bes kaya Calm down Hey, okay, people, okay. deluded are <laughs> back again. Special guest set is the man, the myth, oh, the dude. 100k subscriber kid. You say, my guy? Oh, bro, I was just bopping my head to the intro. I'm seeing some new little introductions, some new badge. Do you know what I mean? Okay, fucking hell, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be like you, man. Trying to be like you, man. Trying no, to be like dude. the man in the Champions League, man. Right now on the oh, Brighton team, we're just living a bit tailing, my guy. Oh, bro, honestly, like, yeah, the 100k was, was, was this a mad yeah, one. Start there. How bad you, you, man? Bro, Remember it, you wouldn't even start a YouTube channel. You wasn't listening know, to me. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but you know what? That last 10k is probably the least enjoyable because it was just stress, bro. It's all that's on your mind. You can't think well, of nothing yeah, else. Let's start there, man. Touch on um, that. Pause. You can't think of nothing else. It's just, it's just literally just, because obviously I'm, I'm one of those people that even though I can see that it's, it's coming, I'm still... I'm Pause. still like, it's, I'm not going to believe it man. until it happens because I've been trying to do that since I was 16 years old. It's like my third channel. So, yeah. Bro. You never told me about that. Yeah, this is my third, third channel, channel, bro. Yeah, third like movie. I've had this, <laughs> I've had three channels, um, but they weren't football. So this was this was the only one that I actually had a plan for and I actually knew what I was doing. Well, wow, what was you doing over there? Yeah, but the, the 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 second one was a podcast with my best mate, which was non-football related. But I did interview some people in the football space like Miz and, and Lewis and some people that I'd found on Twitter. And then the first one was just a was a, just a joke thing, bro. <laughs> it's just sixteen years old. Shrek is love. Shrek is life, bro. Any anything, anything could run on that thing. See, so, my first time lucky, man. That's what they say, like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T uh, Eleven years. <laughs> Wait, you know what? You know, you look at you, KSI, Mr. Beast. They all got the nah, same no, no, story no, 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 of trying no. it for time. And <laughs> no, 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 no. Go so mad, man. I see you. Listen, I watched on Robbie's clip channel. Man, see the nonsense nah. you've been getting up to. I know. I know. I I I said I did a lot for the preview for this game just to just for it to draw one one. I did a lot for United just to just to draw. Yeah, now nah, you was doing a bad thing with the United um, game. What game? What gave you all that confidence? Where you was even mad? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I had to find it within myself. No one gave me that confidence. Like, <laughs> nothing. My the fan base didn't give it to me. They all told me to shush. They all told me to stop. Um, I I just said to myself that Man United are that bad that if we can't beat them, it's a disgrace. And I still believe it is a disgrace. I'll be honest. I think they. they before they brought this new manager and I think the new manager would do well. And I'm actually quite intrigued to see a system, the back three. I've got a good history of a back three. I, I've always liked that formation. Do you know what I mean? Um, but when they, when they had rude, I said, no, nah, man, there's no way. There's no way we can't dismantle them. And then I was just hoping to carry that momentum into Arsenal. That, that didn't go according to plan. So it's, it's a shame. Let's quickly touch on that as well, man. Like, what do you make of Ruben Avering? Cause a bit like what you said, you know, again, we, I think, and you're actually the best person to have here. You know, I hope he's less like Jose Mourinho and, and more like AVB, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> but what you read and what you see, he I, he looks like he could be the guy for them, man. But what do you make of it? He looks like he might, he could do a thing there, man. Bro, he, he looks like a really talented coach. Like, I remember watching him. Um, I mean, you, you saw him against Arsenal, innit? You know what I mean? Like, it was like a little, little something there. <laughs> Yeah, hey, man, um, know, man. This is, when it comes but, to sport, they can do the thing. The rest yeah, of the time, man, I, on us, man. I, I don't rate United's like squad that highly. I think I think there's a lot of changes to be made there. It's a bit of a strange squad they put together because it's, there's there's a lack of there's a lack of like serious profiles and positions where you need them up front. Um, I mean, even attacking midfield, I'm not Bruno's biggest fan, but. I think he can get the, the best out of some of those players in that wing back formation. I think, yeah, I, I've always said Anthony for me looks like a wing back. Yeah, he's that done, can't, he's done, he's can't attack, man. He can't cross. You're not better than Madueke. You're, you're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? At least a Madueke can dribble. Do you know what I mean? Like, Anthony is just for me a wing back. Yeah, and he's got me. no outstanding qualities in the Man United ship. Mm, um, Ganacho, his hard work could be done at wing back for sure. Um, <laughs> so could Dallo, so could Mazawari. Do you know what I mean? And I think he's hard to be fair. Yeah, I think even Martinez, um, he's a centre back that's obviously not gifted with the the greatest. Do that, uh, Latar, um, Lissandro, you know. So, oh right, right, the guy that holds held seven eight at Anfield, is yeah, that a man well, like that? Best you know, centre back I'm, in the Premier boy. Yeah, I'm hey. just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of a position for him where he won't be exposed, and I'm thinking a back three could be could be the trick for him. He's good on You're the right, ball, you know. so that's I think how we there's want quite to be a few players. Well. Yeah, I think there's a few players. 
Diallo in just in behind the four with Bruno, you know, in the, in the kind of these um these two ten positions that you tend to see. But it all depends on how he deploys it. If he goes with like really attack minded um, wing backs, we we had Victor Moses there. He was basically a winger at Palace and and Stoke, and then he just turned into a wing back. If he goes really ambitious like that. Um, he could, he could, he could surprise people because not many people play this formation, and I think a lot of people always dis discount it or dismiss it as a very negative formation because it can be a five, but you can mm. attack five and and and. So it's as defensive or as there. offensive as you want it, really. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Hundred. So for me, it's, it's what he makes of it, and I think because not a lot of people use it, it could catch a few people out. That's how it worked for us. How quickly do you think it could turn around for you now, though? Like, because you lot, we'll get on to you lot, but, you know, Maresca's kind of doing his thing based on the money you guys have spent naturally. If the money's being spent, if a manager knows what he's doing works, you lot should be back. Obviously, Arsenal have hit a blip, but we're kind of fighting for this league. Liverpool are unstoppable at the moment under on slot. City is City at the end of the day. Like, do you think City, Man United will get in this conversation? And, you know, when do you think they'll get in this kind of conversation for bringing back the glory days? If Amarin is this good, allegedly. Yeah, I mean, whether he can take him that far is, is going to be difficult because it's been since Fergie, like you said. But I think I wouldn't rule him out for top four this season. I know I have to have us in there because if we don't do it, it's... it's right, it's, you it's, might have to get top four, right? It's a disgrace. But the only reason why I'm saying I can't rule them out because they're only four points behind. I think they're in um 13th and we're in third, but third down to 13th is Yeah, three there points. isn't too it's much that's points. separating that table. Yeah, Tell me about only it. only four points. So it's, it's, it's a mess, bro. It's only four points. So I think um they, they have to still aim for that target, whether they hit it or not, is, is down to how quickly he can, you know, turn the fortunes of some of those individuals around. He might he might come and say that the reason why I didn't join Liverpool, or I didn't go to West Ham is because I need a big budget. I need to make big signings. I want Jokeres. I want this. I want that. But if he can, if he can blend and mould some of those players into that system, which I definitely think he can. I think Diego Dallo was born to play wing back um, yeah. you know I think Agate can I mean he's managed him so he should definitely get the best out of him Yoro when he comes back um, Maguire's got history in a back three with with Leicester and Hull City so there's, there's a lot of players I think the, the only position where I'm looking at where there's a problem is the up, up front because Xerxes don't really look like he's got that yeah there's rumours he wants to run away already and head back to him <laughs> like yeah. running from the ground is tough yeah. at him man yeah and I think I think Hoyland is still he's still he's still too raw I think he's gonna want a striker True. working with your careers but I think he can get a tune out of a lot of them bro I, I do so how do you salvage the season then like yeah. obviously if you can get a tune out of them from now till May like what's salvaging the season for you for them then like what would be a good season or an outstanding season or whatever I think respectable top six, because after top six, you're looking at teams that are, you know, that you have to respect at least and say, right, you definitely should finish above Brighton. You should finish above Nottingham Forest, um, West Ham, even though, I mean, they're nowhere near it right now. I just have them in that conversation because of the squad they have if they sack Lopetegui quick enough. But after hmm. that, then, then it's difficult. But he he would probably target to win the Europa League and just bypass all this Prem nonsense and try and get in the Champions League that way. That's a trophy. True. Um, we tried that's, that's Emirates, obviously, didn't bang. Yeah, um, and I think I I don't know every single team in that competition, but I'm sure Man United, from a market value standpoint, have got one of the most expensive squads assembled in there, so they should definitely try and target to win it. So Spurs yeah. win that, you never know. <laughs> now nah, we know, <laughs> we know. Yeah, you know, I know. Everybody in the, everybody in the watching this. I still managed to say they win it in every, yeah. the second season, and that man, we got receipts when we let things play out. He might not even be in a job. <laughs> no one told him he's getting till May. Do you know what I mean? He's getting put highlights and prosper in this Premier League. You better defend, bro. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? I mean, unless my bob is messed up, I don't know which highlands you're talking about. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> that's that's just not happening. Do you know what I mean? That's not... He needs to relax. <laughs> Yo, bad man. We say for Liverpool this season, man, because I do think people are gassing it a bit too early, 11 games in. But at the end of the day, they're playing what's in front of them. They're looking blisteringly good. At this moment in time, you know, you have to give them fair value, as you said earlier. Onslaught has to get respected because we don't know how it's going to pan out. But people always say the manager needs his own his own players and he needs this and he needs time. Right now, they're doing their thing. Whether they were talked about as winning the Prem or maybe, whether they were speaking about it internally, results dictate the conversations you're in, as you know, as a Chelsea fan. They're doing all right, man. Like, what well, you made of Liverpool? Are they the favourites? Is it there to lose? Is it too early? Man, what's everything Liverpool on your perspective? Oh, it's very impressive, bro. I must say, the, the start that they've had is... I know it's not been easy along the way. Some of the results could have gone against them in terms of the the the, the way the games have panned out with the, the chances. But for Villa, you know, there's been missed chances, Brighton in the first half. But they didn't sign anyone but Chiesa. And that guy has not played a single part in, in any of this. Um, yeah, I think forgot he forgot a man like Gundogan, really. 
Yeah, yeah. And he was only 13 million. The fact that he's been able to, you know, galvanize that team after a legendary manager like Klopp and just say, right, I trust you guys to kind of show me what you're capable of. I'm not going to uh, make too many adjustments. I'm not going to make wholesale changes. I'm literally just going to come in here, a stamp of uh, my authority in, in terms of the tactics, a couple of little tweaks with the, you know, the way we play, the tempo. Um, and the way we defend as well. Yeah, in terms grabbing of, backs out of this world at the moment. Really. Yeah, uh, tweak a couple things, yeah, in, in the system, in terms of the, the profiles, grabbing Birch, like you said, but he's basically said to them, show me why you're so good. Show me show me why uh, you play so good. Um, <laughs> and Facts, he, they, they've, done, they've done exactly that. You know, they've, they've performed. And it's partly how good they've been. The fact that I think they can get stronger because the window could open in January and he could say, right, FSG, I've, have I not earned your respect and trust? Can I get a player or two? Um, can we take advantage I, of where we find ourselves? Yeah, because I'm seeing um, the depth after Graven Birch for six in Endo is not for me. I'm seeing that, you know, he's barely using him. I'm seeing that Robertson is not really at the level that he was two, three, four years ago. Can I get a couple of ad adjustments? And this doesn't mean splashing, you know, a hundred million. This might just be Bank, very correct. clever Edwards, um, you know, scouting in maybe 20, 30 a pop. Um, and that could see them over the line for the title. And Man City look incredibly fragile. And Arsenal have just shocked me the most because, you know, I had Arsenal as, as, as favourites purely because I did think City didn't really address a lot whoa, of whoa, the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I, a third time's a charm. You said it to me earlier. I say it to you. You know what I mean? Hey, like, I don't look at it. the league table. I didn't even know Arsenal's in a title race right wow. now. I just know if you've lost four games, you need to start winning and winning immediately and put yourself back into certain conversations. Mm. I mean, right now it's it's definitely spooky because you know one. Yeah, it's very spooky. Twelve points, scary. but for me, I, you know, I just thought to myself, incrementally they're building something every season. Um, they're gaining the experience, they're learning window, their bro. lessons. I know, I know. But City's transfer window and Liverpool's was, was no better. Yeah, um, but if I'm harsh, bro, fair enough. You're right on both of them, especially Liverpool. But at least I've seen them Liverpool players win a Premier Champs. City, yeah. cool, is City. If anyone, not that it's right, and you're seeing, obviously, Rodri not being there and the effects, and really Pep not having no plan B for that at the end of the day regardless if you can say you've got kevin de Bruyne, or you've got this one you've got that one you've won this you've won that i hear it not to knock my team but did we leave that window thinking even if you signed these players it could have been dead but mm -hmm. you know did we leave that window thinking we've signed these guys we've got them extra percentages because as you know you, me and you have both seen our teams win leagues as much as about being amazing it's about fine margins and that's what i felt being in the summer like not to say was we can't improve on what we've done good let alone bad last season but it's the fine margins we got Kai, but you didn't upgrade on that. Didn't sign a centre mid. We look at Smith Rowe and Fabio Vieira leaving, and fair enough. But you look at our window, you think, A, is it one that was stronger to fight City for the league and all the tools available for whatever reason? And B, did the squad depth get stronger, bro? Yeah, you can mm -hmm. say in defence, and that's being tested. We've now seen Benjamin White's out for eight weeks, and fair enough, you've been dealt a bad hand there. But a lot of the questions we've seen posed already, bro. So yeah. we deserve where we're at. But I, it's yeah. mad. I don't want to exaggerate because whether Arsenal collapse or not, because I'll be honest, can still try a thing. But yeah. that's my thoughts from the heart, man. They, 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 they have to. They have to. They have to try. But I don't think anybody in in the Arsenal fan base is going to accept um, just a complete capitulation and and heads go down and say, all right, it's out out of the the question before the new year. You have to at least keep pushing and hope that. Liverpool do have a, a spell, but I wouldn't guarantee it. I lo a lot of people are just assuming it's going to happen. I think Slot's only just come through the door. Um, he's riding the wave. He's very, very, very diplomatic the way he's going about it in the press conferences. And there's no, there's nothing to say systematically he's not going to continue to keep improving that team as the season goes on. They've only just started. And on top of that, the fact that, yeah, January, I think is crucial for all of you. Um, you know, I think you guys Trust. came with a couple of players. Sterling's not made any sense or worked out. <laughs> a blind bat. <laughs> and and everything I ain't even seen that from him. The guy ain't even as much as mad, mad as he might be, bro. I'll tell you fair enough. Again, well, play using. Him again, not using yeah. him because yeah. and when yeah. are you gonna see the best sterling? Because as much as I feel at best he has to do the trust art thing, whether you play a minute or ten, is 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 unfair asking a footballer, but you gotta do a thing. You're not gonna ever get to play consistent starts and build up form. And if you're rubbish after that, fair play, but yeah, it was a dud still, man. And this is what, like, a lot of our, some weird Arsenal fans, as much as I think Arteta can improve players, bro, they do this weird thing that any player that's down for their luck, you sign for Arteta, magic yeah. one, like, getting in the habit of 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 trying to fix a damsel in distress is not the way to go. Exactly, about don't save holes, man.
Yeah, it's just, you've got to bring in players that have, you know, shown they're on an upward trajectory or, you know, they're in their peak and their prime. One thing we can say as Chelsea fans, Sterling is not in that in that, in that moment. Foolish, he might have said prior to season starting that he's back and he's trying to, to, to make to mean business yeah, and all. Nah, listen, there's a yard of pace that's gone. There's decision making that's, that's a problem as well. The finishing has always been an issue. The selfishness we saw from him over the last two years as well around young players not squaring 3v1s. It's just crazy. So, um, and especially when you look at you know the, the attack, you could have you could have added anybody, um, whether it be a left winger for Martinelli, who's been kind of struggling for the last eighteen months, a striker because Kai is not necessarily well, he's just not a a a top level uh, striker. I think he's a right. facilitator at best. Um, and Saka obviously has always needed depth. And and you look at Pedro Neto coming to us, someone that can play both flanks. I know he's not got the maddest goal record, but he's at least a chance creator. At least he's you know in a trajectory store on where, Sunday, Saturday, whenever it was. Yeah, at least he's to in get the goal, let alone the cross that sure. maybe Gusto should be scoring. Mm -hmm. Oh, he should be. Oh, 100%. I was fuming. You know, if that was Reese James on the back post, um, I, I would have expected him I to don't know. I ain't seen that brother play football in years. I, I, I don't I, know. He plays, man. He plays last I, 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 I see them right there, man. I he's, see he's them. Here, man. He's, he's here. Boy. Live and kicking. Live and kicking, man. Still doing that, Reese James. Yeah, it's well, propaganda. Yeah, I hear it. You have to. As an Arsenal fan, these injured players, you got to let them go because. Wow. Jack it's not for research because you know I like him by agendas. Shit. <laughs> so what are we gonna? Yeah, we're gonna speak about Mr. Cold. He must really be cold because he bucked oh. into us for throws. Like fair enough, Saka, but you know what he does on gem sites. Like you know well, what he I does. don't know. We say that, but Kukure had a good day. Do you know what I mean? What for what? what happened? To, all right, cool. Every dog has the day. Broken and clock is right twice a day. Saying there's a lot. You know of what happened? So Martin Ellis, I believe we're sat in my guy. You said yeah. he, you said he ain't turned up this season. He turned up Wasn't against it? them, man. Though, yeah, well, up against them, man. I'd Brazil like to, I'd like us to take responsibility for that moment because Lord heavens, the defending was atrocious. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Sanchez decided to just stay on his line oh, and just stunk, let him man. take one, two, three touches before smacking it in his near post. Um, and Cole Palmer, didn't listen, any time to think. That's the yeah, he did, thing. yeah, it's crazy. I, I, but I don't like. I'm not a fan of that keeper at all. I never wanted us to sign him and. and you know, he's, yeah, he's not, resistant he, in that to be fair. Yeah, he can't be here long term. If he is, then maybe I won't be. But, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, Palmer, yeah, very disappointed, honestly, very disappointed because when someone's scoring four goals in a game for you, it's Limping very difficult well. to stay mm. composed. Like, I was trying my very best. I've, I've always said I never wanted to really get involved with the Saka Palmer Foden conversations. I like all of the players, but when that brother was on his peak form this season, I said, "Raw, let me just go crazy, man, because why not? Do you know what I mean? There's nothing he can't do. I've seen him operate from the left at Turn City. I've seen him do it on the right, in the false nine against you guys last season, in the 10. I'm seeing him play these crazy passes from deep. I'm seeing him nah, score these quality, crazy man. goals. Like I'm just like, bro, what is going on here? But he has, he, we have all been humbled a little bit in these big games because the marking, the the defense, the, you know, the, the tactics have really got to us i mean he's still found a bit of room in the in the main united game but he wasn't excited against us anytime and he, against party, guys, party, he ain't got the legs for it and to yeah. be fair apparently he wasn't fully fit so like not to yeah. cop him out on anything but yeah, yeah. He, and he, he just had a bad game like yeah it was a bad game he come off a knock he was making decisions that you know they weren't making sense there was a pass to be played for jackson in behind he goes left to netto he's taking shots where you should really be playing it um just just not not the level that we expect from him but because of the quality that I've seen from him and whether it be Euros, those little cameos and like the, the latter play, rounds, I've, I've got no doubt he's going to get back to, you know, the form we expect, but I just wanted it to be in this this game. <laughs> shout out you know, Kai though, man. Like, I can't lie, shout out Kai though. Can't agenda him anymore. He's solidified himself. Yeah, you know, one yeah. player I've never agended out of all the Chelsea players, as you know, has been Lavi. I think he's cold. I think with him, the only thing that would be the difference is... You do the part. You remind me of a young party in that you're when you're there, you're quality, but you love an injury, and then you come back from the injury, and you need to build up play. But on the field, Lavia is absolutely cold. Them two together have been amazing. Mm. But boy, there's a certain man doing that bench. Fair enough, he got an assist against us, but looking like you're out of the system, like ah, Enzo. I mean, you know what? After the foolery that happened in the summer, I'll be honest, my my cares have have diminished for him. Right, in terms checked of out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I've not got that undenying um, love and, you know, care for whether he's playing or not. I just want to win games. And if you're part of that, then great. If you're not, then so be it. I'm, I'm not going to have any bias or uh, the, in, in my analysis of the way you play, like I maybe would have, you know, because I'm trying to protect a big money sign and I just really want it to work out and I rate him at Benfica and everything. 
that's all done. Like it's it's what you're producing. I don't want to make too many excuses because you know at the end of the day you're a midfielder in this position. You're meant to be able to have a few bows to your to your arrow. Um, and and the defending is very important in this position in the pivot. And and we don't have an Emmanuel Matic um, profile um, in his prime to kind of sit next to that Fabregas we did in our title win. And even then our, our approach was different on the Mourinho, of course, than it is now. So. Caicedo is a different type of player. He gets about. He's been brilliant this season in terms of uh, getting the ball back. Game as well, he so. needs help. He needs help. And anybody who can help him, I'm, I'm up for it. And Andre Santos is a player that I really like and rate at Strasbourg at the moment. Young Brazilian. Are you still um, gassing up that runner? Of course. Yes. Nah, he's cold, this, but I have to run again. Is, <laughs> nah, this, this kid, bro, like he's getting goals. He's, he's leading in that league for tackles and interceptions as well. He's got a bit oh, of a yeah. leadership. Um, well. Yeah, enough. I'm I'm looking, you know what Shameless. it is? Because my midfield has been passed through too many times, run through too many times, uh, whether it be Kovacic on the first game of the season, um, even to to this day. Do you know what I mean? I need I need it solved. So I'm I'm not I've not got too much um stubbornness to say that if Enzo doesn't find a way back into this eleven, or it's not even to say that he's a bad player because I I I still rate him. I think if he does leave us, I wouldn't be surprised to see him in a Real Madrid shirt. People raise their eyebrows when I say that, but when people are talking about suffering without a Tony Kroos type profile, I can see Enzo going to a, a La Liga, a slower league, and playing these deep line well, long Tony range Kroos passes. Likely. No, listen, he's nowhere near Tony Kroos. Like, he's not yeah, even... He's not even he's nah, he don't even get to even conversate with Tony Kroos. The shooting, the Bayern Munich stint, all that. But yeah, in terms of dictating and, and playing, you know, a certain way, I think he could go into that Real Madrid midfield and give them something they maybe don't have with a many or Camavinga or whatnot. Um, no, I see it's better. He could that. rediscover his sense. form. Yeah, he could. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't long ago Real Madrid wanted Kai Havertz. Do you know what I mean? And, and we couldn't believe it after the three years he gave us. But... You know, they've got a plan for everyone. And at the end of the day, if, if it's not working here and the manager can't find a solution, as long as we don't force him to find a solution, we don't cripple our progress by trying to force Enzo into this team if it doesn't make sense, then I'm fine. But Andre Santos, for me, needs to be involved next season. And and Enzo, at the moment, he he didn't get in these big games because of defensive balance and, and the fact that we needed to kind of still figure ourselves out defensively because we're still a mess. Um, but coming up now in this next run, away from the Liverpools, the Arsenal's, United's, Newcastle's, I'm sure he's going to get more minutes and he's going to start games. And then he needs to play those passes because early in the season, then passes were over hit, um, you know, undercooked. Now, cool, you, you're probably going to get more minutes. You need to play those passes. You're part of the squad at the very minimum. You're just not in the squad that is the best solution right now, which I think mm -hmm. evidently with Chelsea's results, you can't knock it. You've been winning games. Mm. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And that's for me, it's just about results. Like, I'm not... I understand the manager because he makes himself abundantly clear in the press conferences. There's nothing lost in translation. Um, he has a reason for everything. Even when we are disappointed to see certain things, I, I've been a bit frustrated to see Gusto at right back recently because I don't think he's been playing that well this season in comparison to a Kukurel who's not been making the team. But then when it's broken down to me, and sometimes it's broken down to me by my own my own live chat or my own comments who have, you know, who have who've figured it out before me, which is great. And they've said to me, you know, yo. He's doing this because Cowell's has to play centre centre back in a free. Um, he can't have him on the wide centre back position because last time he had them him there, Salah ripped him up one v one out wide, and so that means you know Reese James got yeah, him still there. doing the Cowell thing. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah Cowell's played well this season. He's played well. Yeah, nah, he's, he's nah, well. You know what? Cowell's cold. He just he reminds me of Gabriel in that he's cold. He just he lets himself down with some mad moment. He's twenty one. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, no, he's cold. He has to learn that. He has to well, learn. He's cold yeah. though. Yeah, but right. but we've, we've had that before. We had Kukurea was doing the same nonsense. Like 18 months ago, this guy is very front footed defender, um, standing like very much on, on the opposing attacker's toes, like trying to get the ball first. And then if he doesn't get there, he leaves a gaping hole behind him. And even Rudiger, when we had him, you know, he was rash and, and, and reckless as well. So as long as there's quality there to work on, which there definitely is with Cole nah, the passing, cold. the line breaking, then yeah, it's worth it's worth. It's harming us with that ball, with the line breaking, but really want to watch the game again. Yeah, no, he's 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 a very talented um, ball playing centre back for sure. We just need to iron out the issues. Offside trap, mainly one of them. After what happened <laughs> with that goal, he's <laughs> going for Moreska then, and just Chelsea's project in general, man. Because surely you're a bit more positive. Surely you're believing now. Surely you're believing like you're back in the conversations with at the moment us, Liverpool, City, for example. Um, I'm I'm happy with the. I'm really. I've got. It's difficult for me because I I do like to. I do like to make sure that I, I keep it a buck on these directors because I do think they 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 get a little bit... See, sometimes our fan base, they get a little bit too ahead of themselves and they start clapping before really um, the person's walked in the room for their birthday. And for me, it's like, you're, you're spoiling the surprise. We're going to find out if Drewsbury Hall 
is is worth the the the, the thirty million we paid. We're going to find out if Felix is worth the forty million we paid. We're going to find out if in Cuckoo, if if Badia Shil, De Sassi, you know, there's so many players that we've signed that don't really have an imprint on this team right now. As the season goes on, they need to make their themselves heard. They need to start contributing because Conference League games against asthma attacks and 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 um you know. Uh, Shamrock Rovers and and you know it's not gonna cut it, bro. I, I've I've watched these games every Thursday, and you're not gonna prove anything in that competition. You're you, you're simply there because you have to be there, but you're not proving valuation in that competition. Those those players that we're up against are real real poor. Um, and and the the bread and the butter is the domestic cups in terms of proving against Newcastle away in that in that game we lost. Um, the Premier League coming off the bench. And I'm watching Moresco and whether he trusts them, I'm watching him when you've got five subs. Are you bringing these guys on that you say are part of the A team? Or It's not no A or B, it's, 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 it's the whole alphabet. Okay, well, then let's see them to all interchange and let's see the players. Because at the end of the day, if not, then next summer, we're going to have the same influx and outflux of players again, seven in, seven out, because Enzo is going to say, I need game time. Felix is going to say, where's my game time? And Cuckoo, where's my game time? People are saying Madaweke went straight down the tunnel. It's... Chelsea deal with Sterling have, as well next season. Yeah, Sterling will be back. You know what I mean? And we spent a lot of money. And I think I'm very conscious of the fact that, yes, a lot of that money's gone towards future talents. And I'm very happy with Esteval coming in and Andre cool. Santos coming in. But I'm not happy with Sanchez being our starting goalkeeper, Jorgensen being signed as competition when really we needed a, a, a level raiser. Um, the two Monaco uh, brothers at centre-back that we really are scared to see on the pitch every time they walk on. What are we going to do with them? Um you know, there's there's a lot still unanswered for a lot of the money spent. So until it's all calculated and and it, the checks balance and and we're not fra fraudulent, I will continue to to watch with a keen eye. But I'm very happy with the fact that they fixed the the medical team situation. They get massive credit for that because that was a shambles last year. They've 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 picked a manager that I didn't know anything about in terms of him being ready for this job. And he so far I'm happy with him. Like he's he's he seems to be a very um astute individual in terms of the way that he communicates the way that he handles himself um the ideas that he's bringing across and and i'm very happy with with the ones that have made a great success palmer you know caicedo um even though the fees for caicedo have been you know uh, at the end of the day when you're playing well it doesn't, it, matter, it, is. it doesn't matter right. do you know what i mean as long as thing. we win games it doesn't matter but yeah i'm, I'm some of the signings have banged but some of them have have really not <laughs> do you know what i mean so it's a mixed bag it's 50 would you make a city then man um city for them. yeah are city they out the are, race they're not they're not that's the thing because with city it only takes them to get two three four players back and and it could be a whole different situation but i think it's mainly up here bro i think right now I, pep just needs to find a way again of getting them back on on side in terms of maybe motivated because tactically i get it with rodri being out but they shouldn't be as bad as they've been. I'm, I shouldn't be seeing them against Sport in Lisbon just because they don't have a Rodri to to go and capitulate like that. When you yeah, go and look at uh, City starting eleven, they're still they're still Foden. De Bruyne is available. Um, you know we've we've we're seeing you know Stones. We're seeing Diaz. Household names. Yeah, we're seeing big names. So it's not like as if Man City. Same I say with Arsenal. Odegaard was the only one out. Maybe a couple of others, but right, it's there's not like, no excuse for Arteta's yeah, creative lack of creativity, regardless yeah, of Odegaard. There can be a drop off, but you still have to create. Yeah, like you, you throw Wanyeri in there. There's a lot of 17 year olds balling out right now, and you give them a go. But at the end of the day, these two teams they don't have they don't have crazy level injuries. Now, City, I think a lot of their players are just not really fully fit, um, and and maybe they're all just coming back from something at the same time. But I I still think their eleven should be strong enough to deal with some of the the games they've been losing in. And I don't know if that's mentally just trying to go again for a fifth maybe pep's new contract's not signed maybe they don't have their backs up against the wall yet last time it was the charges that came out that rejuvenated them because before that they were struggling as well um there's a lack of service to harlem because of the 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 the, the playmakers are not really creating um the way that we expect from them gundawan has not come back and really been the level that we previously saw in the premier league so there's a lot no, of talking about it yeah and, and and again they're summer as well you know that's why i kind of looked at them and i thought you know, if there's a time to get them, it might be now because they didn't get a backup for, for Haaland. If he goes down, there's no other striker. I don't, I'm not very impressed with the winger options that they have. They brought one kid back, um, Slovenia, who's very talented, but he, he should be still in rotation. Learning. He's still learning. Um, Doku, for me, is very raw and Grealish is very underwhelming at times at City in terms of what we used to see at Villa and what he's become now. 
Um, and then De Bruyne getting a bit older. Rodri was always, they've always been kicking the can down with, with, down the road with Rodri. No no backup in DM since Calvin Phillips. But Gundogan Lincoln's is not mending, DM. But she ain't yeah. got him right now. You know, I know Cover's not a DM. I know Gundogan's not a DM when people are running at you. That's like playing Ericsson in there at Man United. And and Rodri has played so much football. And then they've had a couple injury-prone players at the back and Walker's finished. So it's it, it, it's finished. It's finished. Kalas. So, you know, there, there's always, there was always chicks in the room. Yeah, there was always, the only reason, and I look at you guys and I thought, you know what? I don't see a load of injury prone players at your team. I actually see, a, you know, your average age is still really quite good. And this is what vexes me. The one time they're rubbing out, we're moving mad as well. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Do you know what I mean? And, and I've ne I had Liverpool third, but you know, with no signings and a new manager, I could never, I could never have expected them to be in this position. So I think for me, you know, not to rub it, rub it into the wound, but I, I really do feel like Arsenal are the ones that are really missing out the most here because they we're have third of a, we're third in a free horse race, bro. Yeah, you, you know, you guys really built for this, and you were in, you were, you were doing all the right steps. All the right steps to be in this position to to take advantage of City, and and to be honest, I don't think City are gonna just snap back into gear. Like it, it, it probably will keep going like this until January because it doesn't seem like Pep has a solution for midfield. I mean, it's one thing me as an Arsenal fan, you know, offering my thoughts week in, day in, day out, really, as you know, as a streamer. Like, but as an outsider, like, as you kind of touched on, why do you think it's gone wrong for Arsenal? Where do you attribute the blame? Like, if you don't attribute all of the blame to one party, what, like, yeah, man, just as an outsider, what have you made? Mm. Initially, it was... It was, I mean, it's unlucky for some, it's self-inflicted for others, but at the end of the day, there's there's a lot of games where you're trailing in te with 10 men. And that's how it began. Because initially I'm saying, yo, these fixtures are difficult and they got 10 men. Like, we have to cut them a bit of slack because, you know, that's going to impact them. You know, it just is. But then it started to get a little bit too um, protective, I think, and defensive from Arteta. I, I think over the last year or so, he's just kind of shifted away. And I don't know, and I gave the analogy on DR if this is, you know, teaching your, your son how to ride a bike. He starts with a tricycle. He learns how to ride a bike. Arsenal are, you know, going on this crazy run until February. They're scoring goals. They're playing this fluid football. They're playing with a pace. Martinelli's getting in behind. He's got these 1v1 opportunities. It's all very, very, you know, gung-ho. And then you, you fall over on the bike. You graze your knee one time. You were speeding. You missed out on the first title. And next thing you know, the, tri the, the tricycle's back out and, and you're never going to get to top speed again. He's so ready to put the handbrake on. I couldn't believe how many games are going by and no one Yeri in this team. You established this fantastic... Because to defend first, man. That's why I don't want to play the yeah, young but, you know, you've got, you've got all these experienced midfielders that have, you know, mastered or, or at least, you know, delved in the arts of defending. You can afford to put one creative spark in your side. Take I remember, a bit of risk. I remember the times of Ben White overlapping Saka, constantly giving him an outlet, giving him width. You had that relationship with Odegaard and, and Saka on that right hand side, that triangle. Wanyeri would have been as a left footer, the way that he plays so perfect, he's going to make that. that triangle again. Do you know what I mean? And and Martinelli, I, listen, I don't know if he's suffering due to the system and, uh, but also due to the fact that he's maybe more limited than maybe we thought. Nah, I'll be I real, man. You know, Martinelli FC, cuz, but. Uh, all of that's right. All of that's factors, but it's you and your decision making. It's you and God now. That like, I'm with mm. you, Martin, early to the end, but it's you and God now, my brother. It's... Some of the finishing has been. I mean, yeah, he, even he's still getting into areas, on. but there's no yeah. improvement, he, fam. But Bournemouth, he should have scored. Um, I think there was a, another game. But I had that... another one in the game against you lot as well. Yeah. well one before yeah. he initially scored. Straight out, straight at Sanchez. Um, and again, like <laughs> it's Trossard. <laughs> he's gonna oh. sad. Set. There's he's going to get a new deal, but he's going to have sad. The but the thing is with Trossard, he started Arsenal on the left wing. He was providing these great assists and, you know, he was given good competition on that left wing. We know he's coming off the bench, arriving in the box, going maybe, in, you know, two up front and, and giving the goals. But this 10-8, tired, tired. You, you cannot play through this guy. He's never There's been... Certain you at Fulham that's balling up. But this is the guy. Play. This is the guy last season I was saying, yo... Havertz in this eight role, I'm not really feeling it. And Smith Rowe, you are a talent. I've seen you before. Do you know what I mean? You were you were the Croydon in the brain. You came up with Martinelli and Saka at the same time. Do you know what I mean? You were part of it. And at the end of the day, he's the most naturally, um, you know, gifted left channel eight kind of whatever you want to call it. Roma floater in between the lines that you guys had. And I, listen, I'm not going to say that selling him was a massive mistake because I feel like the regular game time 
um, the, the less pressure, made in bank now you know, the but not replacing him with, with someone creative because so and far, Vieira I'm, going on, I'm, Vieira going on long. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, well, again, I don't know what was going on with him. That guy was looking very fragile, man. You know, he's yeah, one he of just went and built it. But like you said, there's no solution, bro. So you're doing yeah. this building you, to you, your midfield. It's not banging. You wrap that guy up in bubble wrap. You know what I mean? Yeah, players like that, and you, you know, still you, get injured, man. Yeah, it's very, very fragile. But um, this um, Mikel Moreno, I, I don't know. It's not. Ah, you're being asked, man. I, no, I don't know, but you know what he's it is? Oh, like... he's a squad player. We're just doing this thing that Arsenal keep doing. In the same way with Jesus and Zinni, we take guys that should be part of the squad. We make you first team regulars, and we're surprised a bit like Kai Havertz. Because I'll be real, you know, we spoke on WhatsApp. I was upset when we signed Kai Havertz. I thought, mm. oh my, it's Danny Welbeck who worked out in the end as well. Yeah. I think Kai Havertz is doing all he can. I think obviously, naturally, you can do things better. I'm not saying you're playing amazing, but in terms of your limitations and your consistency of things, I think oh, oh shit. Shit. He's oh, still shit. Okay, camera wants to. Don't worry nah, about it. Your mind, we'll keep going, man. We'll keep playing <laughs> until he patterns it. But as I was saying, yeah, like I just think when it comes to Kai Havertz, we've drawn as much blood from that stone as we potentially can. My mm. issue is if you want Kai as part of the squad, you need a bad boy striker. And the issue for us with Kai Havertz now is if we do sign a striker, you're probably gonna have to play in midfield. Yeah, yeah. And I think when it comes down to okay, so now this is this is another level of quality. I'm apologies, people, but this it's is mine, I'm man. The show must just continue. Like, <laughs> um but yeah in, in relation to Kai um he is he is like a 7 out of 10 at everything but a, a 9 and a 10 out of no, out of 10 at nothing and uh, that's that, that was my Best opinion when he first ball, came in is mad. yeah that was my opinion when he first came in is that he's not elite at anything he's just good at everything and obviously then you know agendas have to run and you know he's shushing our crowd and we don't like him now and whatnot but he's always been oh, a shit. good player you know he's never been a bad player he's always been a good player you don't play for you know Leverkusen then go to Chelsea go to Arsenal want Real Madrid interested in if you're a bad player but I think he misses and he does try to you know play on the aggressive side of, but it, it feels like it's not natural to him he doesn't have that edge to me that you need to have as a striper in the Premier League where you just need to be a bit more of a bastard and you as do you need to be a lot more clinical it, and you do, you do need to you do need to be more clinical and you do need to have that for me strikers are strikers You're are very tapped it, yeah it's it's not something that you can just become for me a striker is a very tapped individual because trust. they don't touch the ball too much they do a lot of things that people don't notice a lot of dummy runs and pressing and a lot you know, of selfless holding acts. the ball selfless acts and and then you still need to have the right frame of mind when the ball comes to you in a dangerous position, just sweep it home. And that is something that I just wouldn't count on Kai to do over the course of the season in a title run. If he was in the top four battle, no problem. If you need six, seven knockout Champions League games for us and, you know, we got other people like Mount popping up, Werner, whatever. But when it comes to a 38 game period, it's for me, it's not going to work. It's it's. He's just not that that guy to be dependent on. Not when you've, you're you seeing Jokerezes and Ossimans and all these guys out here just... Nah, it's it's a different level out there. If you well, obviously, as an outsider looking in, if Arsenal go win the league, great, which is obviously bad news because you're a Chelsea fan. But if we win the league or Champions League or whatever, great. If we don't win the league, then do you look at our would you sack Arteta or would you look at him funny? Or is there any sort of saving grace or context where he couldn't win the league necessarily, but mm. you'd be cool with him to stay? Uh I I think if he it's tough. If if he if he doesn't win the league. And he's way off. And I'm talking he's closer. He's in a top four fight. Then I think questions, I think, I think a question does need to be raised now about his future. And it, especially if the Champions League, there's no progress. If he doesn't get to a minimum, if he if he's in a top four fight and he's not in a semi-final and he just, you know, goes out again to a Bayern and then he's he's third or fourth and he's 15, 20 points off the title. For me, yeah, you you do you should sack him because for me, I think he's had enough money now. I think you've you've been given your backing, you've been given your players, you've been given time, you've been here for what six years, um, and, and I don't. I think a lot of people feel like there's no other manager that can manage Arsenal now. It's almost like Wenger, where Wenger was there for a long time. He said all the right things. He looked after the board. Arteta right. said, you know, best owners in the world got a new contract. But at the end of the day, sport is about delivering. You know, life is too short for you know just. Exp because if he doesn't win it this year, is there going to be and, he, and he's way off? I'm not talking about being three, four points off. That that can happen, and 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 I can I can I can understand that. But if you're 15, even 10, if you're 10, 15 points off, yeah, you're 10 off. There, well, you're worse than last season. Yeah, the year before. Yeah. If there's no progress, it's like, what? Where's the confidence to say he's going to do it next year when Slot's got a second year? 
Um, you know, when now there's going to be other man, Ruben Almer, Maresca, pe people are ready to, you know, get involved if it, after the summer, you know, has gone by and, and readjustments and money spent again. Right. So, yeah, for me, he has to win. A, he needs to try and win one of those domestic cups, first of all, because I think any right. trophy at this point is 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 I always say don't don't dismiss and knock any trophies, especially when you're not Man City. I say it to my, you know, our fan base all the time, Chelsea, like. People would say, oh, it's only the Carabao Cup. It's not only nothing. It's not only nothing because you got you don't win a trophy for two years. It turns into three, turns into four, five. Next thing you know, you're you're basically Tottenham. You know, you're basically you, you're bottlers. You, you you don't even know how to act right when you Facts. get in the club. Yeah, because that's what we that's what you know when you get into the club Wembley. Now you don't even know how to act. Prawn sandwiches, champagne. You're there eating with your hands. You know, I see Levy gave used. people watches on the eve yeah, of losing was, the League Cup final yeah, that as well. Stains on the white top. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you don't even know how to act because you've never been there before, or you've or, you, or you, you've not won. You know what I mean? So <laughs> for me, you got uh, you've got to perform. You got to perform in the finals, man. You got to win cups because that that for me that sets a nice foundation. To say right, you like the taste of this champagne. You like the lift of this cup. Now we go and do it again, but we're gonna go bigger and better, and that it just sets a nice precedent. Too. Yeah, for sure. Sure. My last so question for you then, before I let you get out of here, my dude. We don't know what you talked about. Who is the league then? Give me a top mm, four. Well, <laughs> um, right now, I must say, I well, I gave mine, I gave mine um this week. So I'll stick with what I said, even though I'm I'm very, I'm very confused, honestly, with what's going on right now in this league. So this this probably will be wrong, but I'll say Liverpool. Um, because I think you know, Salah, Trent, Allison, Van Dyke, they have a spine of players that have done it before. And and they don't look like stopping. Um, and I don't think I don't think they'll fall off. I think they'll be up there um, to the end now. Um, I I have you second, and it's mainly because you must. I'll be honest. It's because you must. Um, I, I think must City what, can must get, what must you what must, you must challenge. You must. Right, right. So what? So what? So so we're the I only saw, ones I saw your starting what? eleven. I saw your starting eleven over the weekend. I thought, what? what? This is so the, this is the team. So what? This what everyone team. everyone wants us to beat up the biggest bully, and you lot are not backing it. Well, that I don't want what? you to do it, obviously. Do you know what I mean? But I'm just saying, like, when I saw your starting 11 at the weekend, everyone was back. I said, brah. Yeah, but everyone's not back in the right context. I know, man. I know. 100%. Ben White's had surgery. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Totals. Odegaard. We'll yeah, back. I, I hear you. But once they're back fit, like, properly, after the international break, that starting 11 is still the starting 11. It's still exactly what Arteta's put together. It's a formidable team. It's physical. It's <laughs> helping bus case, but you're right, man. It's, it's mad on set pieces. It's defense. I, I don't think your defenders are any worse than they were 12 months ago, you know, even though you're conceding a few more goals. I'm sure you'll sort that out. It's really just the attack and the style and, and, and the pace that you play at and whether he releases the handbrake um, and, and whether or not he starts to utilize the squad, Sterling's, Wanieri's, but the squad is still strong. And City, listen, I'm sure City could win the league. I've just got them third because they really don't need to to, to, they don't need to worry themselves too much. Like when you do four in a row, you get obliged. I'll be honest. When You're you do four in a row, <laughs> when you've won what they've won, if you want to have an off season, which is which is due, uh, you'd hope at some point. Maybe it's this year or maybe it's next, but you'd hope at some point they are gonna just actually chill on a season and not actually return to the summer. And but if that is this season, then fair, it's it's fine. It's, it's no problem. It's third place, and and they have to go to the summer and 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 start to rebuild that team because there is a lot of players that. Probably have reached the end of their time. You know, you look at the you need new blood, man. Need some younger players. Man. Yeah, yeah. But they, do, do you know what it is with City? I don't. I'll never feel sorry for them. But they they sold a lot of their academy. They did exactly what we did. They, they made record, themselves with they, they made record profits, and they were celebrating it. And you know, I get it. You know, you're you're qualif you're, you're you know you're qualifying um for for FFP, and you know you're not getting investigated and whatnot for well maybe you are um but you know you know yeah, you're, you're making money. Soon, yeah, you're, you, you know you're making enjoy. It could be longer. <laughs> Like, the net profit, you know, everybody's screaming net profit, but Palmer, do you know what I mean? I'm looking at Lavia like, once upon a time. Douglas Louise come from Pedro Porro. Over over a couple over the last couple of years, all these guys have come from you. Um, you know, Pedro Porro would 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 bang at Man City at right back. You think about his attacking, you know, attributes and, and the way Pep uses his wing his fullback. So there's a lot of players. There's a, you know, Liam Delaf. I don't know if he could have done a thing behind Harlan, maybe not, but there's a lot of players that they had that they could have utilized and they sold, but you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, that's the decisions they made, and now they're looking a bit thin. But I'm sure they'll they'll sort themselves out over over the season next Hopefully summer. Not, man. Hopefully not. Honestly, at this moment in time, I can't look beyond Liverpool. I can't look mm. beyond City. 
And then I think naturally, if we just get back to what we're doing, we're just third of us of a, of a three horse race. For me, why I don't have, I think mathematically we can fight. I, I kind of on brand with what you're saying. I think if we can get back to basics and Arteta can do certain things, then we're in with a significant fight. But I just feel for me, what makes me a bit pessimistic is like in life, when things start going outside of my direct control with my hands, which evidently on paper it is because we are now chasing. This is where I start to look at it a bit funny. Some fans, I heard an Arsenal fan in my live chat say, focus on the Champions League. I'm not knocking it in theory, but come on now. Like, we are not them guys. You know, you focus on every effing thing. Speaking of <laughs> you, it now, huh? mm, I hear that. No, listen, Champions League, uh, bruh, we have to That's really, graph, one day, man, to really graph for that one. It's, it's, it's something else, I'll be honest, that competition. It's crazy. My last question for you then, uh, what, are you not going to win Conference League? Of course. <laughs> of course. Like I have they no problem saying don't that. Come back to buy you, you know? No, if it does, we are disgrace. I'm telling you, if we if we don't win that, it, I I will be the least of my problems in terms of what I've said because I will be right there with you. Anybody who will be cussing, I'll be right there with you. You know, when you see the teams in that competition, we were playing Noah's Ark the other day. Um, <laughs> they travelled 55 hours by bus to get to Stamford Bridge. We didn't even give yeah. them a flight, which is which is so disrespectful and classless. Didn't even bought them. Didn't even you know get them a plane. Um, they had two Burger King employees in their 11. You know what I mean? People were saying they're, 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 they're part-timers. Shout out them, man. They tried it too, man. Of course. You know what I mean? And and Paphonikos away was our toughest uh, league table game. And we slapped them 4-1 and then got complacent when we conceded the last goal out in Greece. And that's one of the best teams in the competition. And that's our B team. And remember, in January, you can re-register and you can bring in your Palmers and your whoever. There is no excuse for a team that is factually worth more than every other team in the competition combined market value wise to not win that competition it it's a disgrace if we don't do it and and i have no problem saying that i have no problem holding us to that um standard it for me it's na if we win it i don't even think i'll do a madness i think i'll clap i think i'll i'll boys. be happy for the boys yeah for sure <laughs> um i think i'll be happy for the boys happy for the manager happy for the ownership first trophy but I know that's what shameless. That's shameless. That's shameless. No, nah, it is shameless. I, nah, I it's threw, right. You tried to get. I, I, threw, I, I tried to throw like, a dog a bone. I tried to throw a dog a bone, knowing full well that really that doesn't do anything for you. Like, I'll be real. <laughs> that one was shameless. <laughs> for you. You've been so good, all stupid. That was yeah, shameless. Yeah, I tried to throw a dog a bone. That that I'm not gonna lie. I take that last part out, man. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> the ownership. I'll be honest. That ain't gonna do shit for you. I'll be real. You spent for, you spent too much money. You spent way too much money. But yeah, I'll be happy for the. I'll be happy for the team. Um. But yeah, when you spend what we spent, man, and and you're winning this competition, and you're, you're yeah, it's not it. It's not it. It's not. It's not. It's not something to try and over glorify and pretend like. Yeah, we've won it all. I get it. We won all three. I'll, I'll shamelessly say it, but <laughs> like I would as well if I was you, man. Yeah, the fact is, you know, the only reason is we're down here is because Real Madrid would never. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you know, what I mean, that's the facts of the matter. Boy, mm. Matisse. It's been a good stream, man. Let yes. people know they can find you. I can't imagine that they don't, but it's customary, bro. Well, I appreciate, I appreciate um people. If you could, I mean, you could subscribe for sure. Um, you know, at this point, I'm it's, it's my job to now just provide elite level content. I'm trying to Facts. he's doing a great more, job of that. So go subscribe, folks. You know, I am thank you, brother. I'm trying to create more um skits, I'm trying to be more creative, scripting, directing you know, getting crazy camera. I'm trying to push the boat out because at the end of the day now, they've already put me on 100K. That was the dream when I first started. Now it's up to me. Um, you know, I can't really ask for any more support. It's, 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 it's almost like asking Chelsea to sign players. So I, <laughs> I know I know now, like, I know I know how this thing goes and I know I've already, I've got enough to, to now it's up to me, like completely. If I do not sh showcase the, the level of, 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 of content that I want to, then, you know, it's down to me and the, the algorithm will do what it needs to do and the people will be there. So yeah, man, if anything, it's TikTok that's bleeding. Do you know what I mean? I only just revamped that. So check that out. <laughs> man, I need to revamp that, man. I don't understand. Damn thing about this social net, man. I wish we could just talk about football and the rest would take care of yeah, itself. Long, it's long, long, man. It's long. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah, man, like the man said, make sure you're subscribing and that. Let us know your thoughts. I'm sure you lot agreed and disagreed with a lot. Obviously, you lot won't know when we're actually shooting this, but it's late at night now. I'm going to leave Matisse to do what he's doing with his evening. As usual, appreciate the late shift, bro. And on that note, like, comment, subscribe. Safe. Big up. Come on.